In this video, we're going to look at piecewise functions and graphing the function. So for this example, the piecewise function below gives you the cost of X text messages from Horizon Cellular, and they want us to graph the function. So th this, this one is made up of two functions. So the first function, 32, tells us that it's $32 when x is less than or equal to 400. So I interpret that to mean that if we send 400 or fewer text messages, the cost will be $32. The second function adds 11 cents for each text message over 400. So when we graph this, the way that we would look at this is for $32, it's going to be flat because our cost doesn't change for any text messages in between that amount up to 400 messages. So the, the x-axis represents the number of messages and the y-axis represents the cost, C of x. For the next part of our example, they want to know what are the coordinates of the cusp. And what you need to remember is that by definition, a cusp is the ordered pair on a graph where there is a sharp change in direction. So if we look at our graph, our sharp change of direction occurs at this point. So that would be our cusp. And if you remember, when we do an ordered pair, the way we write an ordered pair is the x goes first, the y goes second. So in our ordered pair, the first number is going to be 400, and the second number is going to be 32.